Hi everybody, uh, I'm back with another tutorial for you. After talking to some teachers yesterday about your Screencastify training that you did, there were several teachers that expressed uh, concern over the fact that their document cameras couldn't be used on Screencastify uh, because our document cameras that we have don't connect to our computer screen and on Screencastify you can only see what is on your computer screen. So I set out to try to figure out if there was a way to uh, circumvent that and be able to use something that would turn your uh, computer screen into your document camera to use on Screencastify. Good news, I have figured it out. And the best news is this hack is completely free. It's not gonna cost anything uh, as long as you have the items that we need, which most of them you can find probably in your classroom right now. So uh, a couple things that you will need to be able to do this. You obviously will have to use your Mac computer for this, um, your desktop. Um, if you have a laptop, it might work. I haven't tried it with one, uh, but with a desktop, it does work. The second thing you'll need is either an iPhone or an iPad. Um, this is a little trickier because I have several different versions of the iPad in my room. Some of them work and some of them don't. So if you start doing this and you realize, oh, I don't have one that works, come talk to me because I do have one for sure that works. Uh, you will need the charging cable that goes with your iPad, the lightning cable. Um, this will get plugged directly into your computer and then into your iPad. And then the last thing that you'll need is something to suspend your device up above uh, whatever you're trying to work on. So that could be a lot of different things. It could be um, a tripod. If you have a tripod that tilts down, uh, it could be uh, like what I'm using, which is just one of those mesh uh, locker shelves. Um, you can buy these like at Target or on Amazon for like $10 or you can do what I did and take it from your middle schooler because they can't use their lockers this year anyway. So um, that's what I did. Uh, so and the mesh ones work really well because then you've got these holes that you can line your camera up with and you can uh, be able to see better and also it lets light through so you can see what's going on underneath. So um, you can't see off to the side but what I have set up next to my computer is I have my locker shelf set up and I've got whatever I'm going to uh, project underneath my locker shelf and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my device, my iPad, which I already have connected to my computer, and you're going to do a couple things. First of all, you're going to switch your iPad so that it's always on. So if you don't know how to do that, uh, go under your settings. Uh, I believe it's under uh, displays. There's a thing that says auto lock. You want to change that to never. Otherwise, your iPhone or your iPad is going to kick off partway through your, uh, using your document camera, and you don't want that to happen. Then you're going to open your camera on your device. You can see that mine is open. You can see my classroom. Um, and then you're going to place your device on whatever you're using to project on. So I'm going to put mine on my locker shelf so you can see. Okay, so now once that's done, um, your next thing is you're going to open a program on your computer that some of you may not even know you have called QuickTime. Um, all of our school Macs have QuickTime already built in. It's not something you have to download. So to do that, you're going to go down here to your applications, to your finder. You're going to open it, go to applications, and you're going to scroll down till you see this little Q looking icon. That's QuickTime Player. QuickTime Player is Mac's built in uh, video uh, recording. Uh, you can also record audio and a lot of different things. I've used QuickTime for a lot of different things. It's nice because it easily converts into YouTube videos. So if you record something on there, you can easily change it into a YouTube video through QuickTime itself. So if you click on QuickTime, I'm going to move this out of the way. You can see up at the top of your screen here um, where it says QuickTime Player. You're going to click on File next to that, and you're going to open a new movie recording. You will see a giant box pop up in your screen like you see on here. You can see me twice now. Um, and this will be your, your video. If you were going to record, this would be what it would be recording. Um, we are not going to actually record on here because we're already recording on Screencastify. But what we are going to do is if you look here, you see this little record button right here? Don't click that. Next to it is a small arrow. Click that. You'll notice that the default camera that it's on right now is the built-in webcam or uh, they call it the FaceTime camera on Max now. You're going to switch that to your device. So you can see underneath that it says Beck iPad 5. If you click on that, this is where the magic happens. Are you ready? Just wait for this. So when I click on this, watch what happens. All of a sudden, my pane that I was looking at is now the camera 
that's on my iPad. And as you can see, my iPad is currently pointing down towards a notebook that's underneath it. And now you can see my hand, you have complete document camera ability. So you can write underneath it, you can do your math worksheets, you can copy spelling words, you can do whatever you need to do. And it works exactly like a document camera. It obviously also works on Screencastify because I'm using Screencastify right now to send it to you. So like what you're seeing from me right now is exactly what your students would see from you when you do this on Screencastify. Uh, I gotta say I'm pretty excited that I actually figured this out yesterday. Um, and I hope this is helpful to some of you. Uh, we've heard that there are new documents cameras coming, but who knows how long that'll take. And so in the meantime, this is a free and easy tech hack to get you through so that you can use a document camera with Screencastify. Hope this helps. If you need any help with anything, if any of this was confusing, please come talk to me. I will gladly come down to your room, help you show you how to do this and set it up. Have a great day and have a great start to school.